Jan here, just sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all you. Another beautiful sunny day. I should get my sunglasses on because woo, it is sunny and I really need the solar energy. Last night the um, refrigerator basically ran down my battery. And um, I mean it worked all day but it was really taxing the battery all day long because it was kind of warm outside and um, it was warm inside the tiny house so although it got a little bit of charge in here and there the refrigerator was using quite a bit of energy so overnight um, it got it down to where it couldn't take a load anymore and my inverter was like alarming and everything so I eventually just turned it off so it's back on now and it's cycling on and off like it needs to but I think what I'm gonna do to help solve that problem is overnight since it's cooler in the tiny house as it is turn that thermostat down. I've got it set on four right now. Um, I might set it down to three or maybe even two overnight and see if that works a little bit better. I don't know. But what I need to do is I need to get another battery. I've only got one 100 amp hour battery. So um, yeah, getting the battery is going to be a priority for me. I already know someone is sending me another solar panel so that's going to make a huge huge difference and you know what I don't know why I didn't bring my tripod out here I'm sitting here holding this phone I'm so stupid so anyhow um, it's supposed to be a cool day today so I don't know if I'll get some work done on inside the tiny house or if I'll get some work done outside the tiny house um, I had taken some footage uh, previously about some things I found around my land, so I may share those with you too. Anyhow, let me finish my coffee and get this date going. Okay, you guys, UPS just came and dropped off these two packages. I am hoping this is the solar. I need to get it out there fast, and I don't know what this is, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one first, and if it's a solar panel, I'm going to... Oh my gosh, this is so hard to get open. I'm going to take it out. Okay, let me just do this. It's a solar panel. It's here. Thank goodness. I'm going to go outside and hook it up right now and see how it improves my energy intake. This was only, I think, 12.9 before I hooked up that panel, and it was running at 10.4 amps, bringing in 10.4, and now 15.7. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. And there they are. They're all set up, and you know, I'm going to have to figure something out. I may, I just need to try and get these on the roof and just leave them up on the roof. Um, because what I'm doing right now is I'm having to move each one of these panels every time the sun shifts. And I think up on the roof, it just gets better sun. And um, so it's going to be kind of difficult to move all three of these. But you know what? I'll figure it out. I always find a way. I don't even care. I've just got 300 watts of solar now and I'm pulling in plenty of amperage so I don't know if that's even the right term <laughs> who knows I never say things right I don't know what happened to the sound in the rest of this part of the video but I must have hit mute or something anyway I wanted to thank Kathy Kathy sent me this third solar panel and it is already making a huge difference so and it came right on time so girl thank you so much you've made a difference on my homestead now I'm gonna open up this one I had been told I was getting a few things here and there. Um, not really sure if this is one of those things. So let's figure this out. Look at me, I'm still in my jammies. Oh. Okay. See there, that's what my, what do you call it, does. My invert one. Okay, let's see. I hope you keep your list up. Need more choices from Marietta Young. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what this is. I do not know. Oh, it's the parent. Oh, and there's something else in there. What is this? Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I used to have one of these and um, it kind of got disappeared. So now I've got it back again. And, oh, look, it's this pretty blue color. It is one of these little multi-tools. I hope I'm showing this to you right. I can figure out how to open it. <laughs> look at this. It has everything in it. Oh, my gosh. Wire strippers, cutters, uh, needle nose pliers, um, 
the regular, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, let's see what else it has in here. It has a Phillips head screwdriver. It has a little saw. It has a nice sharp blade. It has a bottle opener. Let me get all these open. Uh, 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 oh, yes, there's a saw. That's a, that's a better saw. Actually, this one isn't a saw. Duh. This is a fish scaler, and I love that thing. It really works great. Um, that's a little saw. This is a uh, flathead screwdriver. Another bigger bottle opener. I'm not sure. I'll have to check and see out what that uh, what that is. Bigger's uh, flathead, um, a fingernail file or just a file, whatever kind of file. So this is it, you guys. This is awesome. Okay, let me open the other thing. Oh, this is so. I'm so glad I have one of these again. And it comes in this cool little carrying case. And oops, I think there's something inside here. That's okay. It can go around your belt. So I am set. Okay, this paraffin lamp oil. Um, I've had to kind of limit my use of the lamp oil because in my area there was a shortage. You couldn't find it anywhere. And so uh, I pretty much just ran out. So I've been using it sparingly. Look at this. That's a big bottle of it. I'm going to be able to use those oil lamps that Connie got me all the time now. This is wonderful. So, Marietta, I don't want to get in this shot because I don't want to bend over. I've got this weird shirt on. Um, Marietta, thank you so very much for both of these things. These are just amazing, amazing. I can't believe I got this again. Ho oh, ho, I'm so, so happy. Last time I checked, the solar panels are bringing in 16 amps, and uh, they're almost, the batteries are almost full, so we'll see if that extra panel does the trick. Um, the main thing is, is storage overnight, you know, in the battery. If I've got enough battery storage capability to keep that thing running at uh, number four on the thermostat, all night long and you know what I am just really tired today it's beautiful it's not hot outside I just kind of feel like I don't know just chilling out and doing nothing I mean I had worked on the garden beds and done some stuff and watering and whatnot um, yesterday and the day before today I don't know Whew. well I've got a peach cobbler going in the oven in the tiny oven so when that's done, I'll let you take a look at it, and I'll tell you how I made it. Hopefully it'll turn out. If it doesn't, psh, I'm not going to show it to you, and I'm going to cut this part out. And then I'm going to chill, you know, chill around the tiny house, inside probably, too, because it's not super hot. And I've been getting eaten up by bugs, something terrible, and I'm just tired of it. You know, and I can't really put that bug spray on me. Um, I just don't want it to affect Betty. So I don't know. I think in a few minutes here I'm going to go inside and see if my peach cobbler's done. And if it is, just let it cool off and have a little bit of it. Oh, I did want to add one thing too. This little Lucy light here saved my butt this morning because I really couldn't charge anything um, because my battery was basically, you know, almost dead. Um, and I, don't, I hope I didn't damage it. I don't think I did because it's recharging up to, it's like 13.9 now, so... I think I'm going to be okay battery-wise, but this, I needed to charge my phone this morning, so not only does this put off a whole bunch of light, you can charge your phone off of it, and I did find out who gave it to me. Her name is Karen Marshall, so thank you, Karen Marshall. This is so cool, and it puts out so much light, and you can vary the light. Well, there's a little switch right here. There's three different light settings, and then there's a, oh God, bugs, um, there's a strobe setting too. But then you can also vary the amount of light and how it uh, looks in the room by either putting it this way or putting it this way. So this is very, very cool. So thank you so much, Karen Marshall. Anyway, yeah, i got to go check that cobbler. I, I can smell it. It smells delicious. And I've never made it this way before, so hopefully it'll turn out good. Okay. Um. Well, I think it's done. I've never made peach cobbler like this before so I'm gonna go ahead and just let this cool here a little bit and then pull it out of the oven and uh, just see what it tastes like hmm well 
it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it smells really good. And I made it a little bit different than I normally make a peach cobbler. I found this recipe online. And you use dry all-in-one pancake mix. You just throw the whole can of peaches, 30 ounce can of peaches, down into an 8x8 pan. And then you mix a cup of the um, pancake mix and a cup of sugar all together and um, put that down in there and just sprinkle it over the top of it. So that's why I kind of think it's more like a crisp instead of a cobbler. And I also added some cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger to it. So um, I guess there's only one way to find out if this is any good, and that is to taste it. Mmm. It is good. That's not bad at all. Um, it could have been cooked for maybe just a little bit longer. It's getting so hot in there, though. Mmm. All right. It is definitely more like a crisp than a cobbler. And you know what? I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to add some oats to it, I think, and, and use some brown sugar instead, and a little bit more butter. Oh, yeah, I put little dots of ghee all over the top of it. And you know what? This is not bad at all. Not bad. Mmm. I am just really, really tired today. I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what, but I need a nap. Is this what getting old feels like? <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go do that. Um, I think it's cooled down in there now since the oven is off. And uh, just take a little nap and chill for the rest of the day. You know, it's okay to not do something for one whole day. Well, I did be, do the peach cobbler and I did set up the solar panels, so that's something. I mean, that's not really work, though. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.